Okay, so here we have question 16 from the 2018 exam one. The quarterly sales figures for a large suburban garden centre in millions of dollars for 2016 and 2017 are displayed in the table below. Using these sales figures, the seasonal index for quarter three is closest to. Okay, so we need to find the seasonal index for quarter three. Now you've got to remember here that because we have the two years worth of data, we have to use both years to find that seasonal index. Our process is we find the, the quarterly average for 2016 and the quarterly average for 2017 and use the both of them to find the index. And then, yeah, we'll go through this process, I think. All right, so first off, we are going to find the quarterly average for 2016 and then the quarterly average for 2017. So getting your CAS with these figures. So 1.73. Plus 2.87 plus 3.34 plus 1.23 divided by 4. So that's the quarterly average for 2016. For 2017, we'll just do it all in one step. So 1.03 plus 2.45 plus 2.05 plus 0.78 divided by 4. So that's the quarterly average for 2017. So to find then the seasonal average, sorry, the seasonal index for quarter three, we have to find the seasonal average, sorry, the seasonal index using the quarterly average for 2016. So I get that 3.34 divided by our 2016 figure. Then I get the 2017 figure, 2.05, divided by the quarterly average for 2017. Then I get those two figures and I average them. So that plus that divided by two, so around that 1.378. So it's closest to C, 1.38. 51% of the state answer correctly and 19% answered D, which oh, I'm not sure where they got that one from. But this is, we've got to go through those couple of processes where we find that quarterly average for 2016, 2.29, quarterly average for 2017, 1.5. Okay. Using those, find a seasonal index for quarter three in 2016, a seasonal index for quarter three in 2017. Then using those two figures, average them out. T 
to get you the overall seasonal index. Let's look at our next questions, which is the from the 2017 Northern Hemisphere exam one. So these are questions 15 and 16. The seasonal indices, seasonal index, for the daily earnings of a cafe in a tourist town from Monday to Saturday are shown in the table below. The seasonal index for Sunday is not shown. Last Sunday, the cafe earned $3,839. The deseasonalized earnings for this day is closest to. Okay, so let's go through this and what do we have to do? So I need to figure out what that seasonal index for Sunday is. How can I do that? Well, here our seasons are days of the week and there's seven days of the week. And we've got to remember that because there's seven seasons, all of these seasonal indices have to add up to seven. So I'll go to my calculator and okay, so do it how it have a way you like um, I might go I might add them all up and then take them away from 7 at the end so 0 0.65 plus 0 0.6 plus 0 0.74 plus 0 0.82 plus 1.12 plus 1.45, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, okay, then 7 minus our answer, 1.62. So that means that for Sunday, that seasonal index is 1.62. Okay, so that's part of what we have to do. The next part is to find the deseasonalized earnings. If you remember, deseasonalized is equal to the actual divided by the seasonal index. So here, our actual was 3,839. So we have to divide that by our seasonal index, which is 1.62. So I'll do that. So 3839. 3839 divided by our seasonal index. So that is 2369.75 and so that means it is closest to 2370 which is A. Now in question 16 the seasonal index for Wednesday is 0 0.74. This tells us that Wednesday's earnings tend to be. What do Wednesday's earnings tend to be? Well, let's look at this. Remember, with seasonal indices, we always have to compare them to one. Are they above one? Are they below one? Here, we're below one. So one take away 0 0.74. 0 0.26. So that means that is 26% below our average, below the average daily earnings. Okay, so from the examiner's report, I'll read that out exactly. The seasonal index for Wednesday is 26% below the expected average of one. So our answer there is A, 
26% less than the average daily earnings.